All right, so we're back for the the second podcast here. Had to readjust everything, get everything going again, figure out how to do this because I forgot from last time, but we're joined with Anthony once again. Um, we're not going to look at the camera. This is probably the only time I'll look at the camera over here. If you guys are new, hit the subscribe button, enter to uh, win the fic. I'm just going to roll with it. All the stutter. Enter to win enter, the, uh, the, enter, the OG the OG yeah, Enter to win the, uh, the OG pit bike. Every $5 spent gives you one entry to win that thing if you order stickers on my website. Everything's linked down below in the description. And uh, today's topic, we're going to try and bust out two, uh, two podcasts tonight. Um, a little bit shorter from the last one because some of you said they were too long. But uh, first topic would be in theme of the Alta. Yeah, the you know, Alta. Anthony's hyped on it. Yeah, I've been we'll biting be my bikes. So I have been we'll biting my e bikes so hard on this. So topic. I guess you can you can start okay. it off, talk about the Alta and other okay. e bikes. We'll get into the the new KTM and Husqvarna um, fifty or sixty five <laughs> cc um, e bikes and after the Alta. But <laughs> yeah, Anthony will start off with. Talking about his Alta, his first ever oh, Alta man. experience and how oh, that went. Man, so, so first I'd like to start off by like last podcast. I or was just like, in general, we can talk about. I it. I was like know? dead set on talking about it. Yeah, we couldn't because the reveal video reveal. didn't come out. I still have to edit the the other Instagram edit with that new song. I haven't gotten around to. It. I've been trying to daily upload. Don't have enough time trying to <coughs> make and get all your sticker orders out. But anyways, you can you can start talking. Yeah. On. So so anyways, on topic of the Alta, so. So Tyler called me with this like bullshit excuse like, hey, because because I do like construction work. He needed me to do some construction work for him. And um, with regards, I was like, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out when I have time. And I didn't oh, have yeah, I time. Did. I, did. I didn't have time. So Tyler tried to hide it pretty good. Um, but I had well, like. I just said you were coming over to check out the snowmobile. I think that's what I said. Or maybe I did that with Mike. No, I you, think I did it with you too. No, you told me something along those lines. Check no. out the snowmobile. Or no. at least when you got there, I said check out the snowmobile. Yeah, and I had that's no I interest. Get. No interest in that piece of crap. Yeah. Not a huge snowmobile kind of. Okay. I'll just rip the All bike. Right, we'll skip that. So anyways, on the topic, I get to the Alta. You know, this kid is so it's him, Mike, and Phil. They they all think yeah, I'm thanks. stupid. So we pull this thing out and I got like really nervous because we um, skipped the part of that. You probably had no idea, no expectation for the garage door to open and there no. be an Alta. No. I didn't Not tell well. anybody. As in the video, I well, said, I only told Ryan and Dave. I'm pretty sure Mike was surprised. Everybody else. I well, Tyler knew. Tell. Who? McKnight. He, no, that, after I bought it. Nobody knew I was had any interest in that I was possibly buying an e-bike. I well, you, even, me and you have talked about the idea of like getting oh, the ride one. And they came out three years ago. <laughs> I'm like, like dude, you, that'd be so sick, but they were like 15k at the time, and then um, that's just not worth it for like. At, we're like, not gonna talk dollar. about how much I bought it for, but no, I just, but I'm just saying like top dollar, 15 grand. If you like add everything out, like the only crap part is like if it was 15, if you were buying. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But now they're only like you can get the MX for 11,000, I think, and then the MXR is 12,000, 13,000. Around the they're they're over ten the, grand. Over ten grand. But a KTM factory edition is over ten grand. So So you got pros and cons. It all depends on what you want right, to buy. Anyways, yep. But but regardless, on, on other topics and matters. So um when I got to see the bike, um yep. we pulled it out and Tyler was like persistent, you know, put a helmet on, be safe, and I am totally Yeah, the thing's not a joke. It's not a absolutely garbage it's with not safe. A, a razor MX five hundred. Yeah, like I'm not afraid of absolutely you know, we, like, I should get one of those and kinda yeah, do a comparison. Paint it white and kind of mini Alta. <laughs> yeah. That'd be yeah. pretty, I should yeah. do that. Spoof it. Or find one on Craigslist. Or That'd be pretty funny. It'd be pretty funny. But but anyway, so or we put an Alta motor in a mini. That would yeah, be cool. no, that wouldn't work. That thing's got way too that much That would be cool, though. It's, got, it's too fast. That would be cool. All right, anyways. So anyways, so cutting you off. I get on the bike, and it's Phil, Tyler, um, me, and Mike. And yep. We pull it out, and I'm, like, super nervous to ride this thing because uh, our buddy Tyler, the, the video went viral, like, <laughs> yeah, it did go viral. last year or two years ago. Tyler McKnight, yeah. Yeah, so if you guys don't believe me, so McKnight actually told me I'm about. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it on Instagram. I guarantee Oh, yeah. It. Guarantee it. So he looped it in map four, and I got, yeah. like, really nervous. It was nervous. on the yellow. If you guys have seen it, it was on the yellow Alta. It was, like, super zoomed in. He kind of whiskied it, and he wheelied off the back of it. I know you – I know, like – Everyone saw it. At least fifty percent of the people on, watching have seen it. It was on Deegan's page. It was on everyone's, everyone's page. page. It was everyone all, it went viral. It. Millions of people saw yeah. it. But anyways, yeah. in regards, that was, so so McKnight told me after he wrote it. Yeah. So McKnight told me after he wrote it, he goes, "Dude, they have 
absolutely insane amount of torque off the bottom end. And, you know, I know from like no the hesitation. Tesla and crap like that, you know, immediate instant power. So I'm like really scared. And the weirdest thing about the Alta is compared to any other bike, I know it's electric. When you get like just a sea hair off the throttle, like you just tap it just to move forward. The whole thing kind of like jerks. Like it, it's like ready to get abused. It's like if telling you, let's like, go. Yeah, if you're in the higher modes. We'll no, even about, in one, like it wants to we'll go. We'll talk about the modes and stuff. I'll try and answer everyone's questions regarding that. But So anyways, I get on it and Tyler's like, oh, you don't know. You're, you're you know, they're like, this, he's not going to figure it out. So I get up and down the road and I'm doing like 45, 50. And I have it maxed on. Like there's no way. That was so, in map one, right? Yeah, map one. Yeah. So I am going away from Tyler's house um, towards like the end of the street. Oh, keep in mind. I was telling Mike and Phil, like, dude, nobody tell him how to change the maps. Leave him in map one. That's all he needs because it'll still do, like, what you, it'll probably do 50. It does, like, 50. Yeah, it'll do 50 in map one. It just but doesn't, it, it it doesn't have the while. torque. It's not as aggressive. It doesn't have the torque. But that's if you're learning, like, Anthony doesn't need anything above map one, okay? But somehow <laughs> he figured out how to get into map four. Nobody told him. I was going to oh. take the key out before I told him how to get into map four. All of a sudden, we hear it come screaming down the road. I'm like, oh, I was that is like... not map one. It goes, <laughs> you, right by me. I'm like, yeah, he's in map four. Yeah. Comes back again, at least going 75 miles an hour. Yeah, I had that thing going 75. Like, I couldn't, like, I had trouble mind, stopping. It's like, I don't know, 100, eh, 200 feet. Yeah, I, I mean, it accelerates so the, Definitely hard. not the area where you should be doing 75 no, miles an no, hour. No, 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 no. And and right. not for nothing. So, anyways, like I figured it Turn out. Turn your thing down a little bit. Um, we're peeking. Uh, the we're still working. We're this still thing? The yeah volume? that thing. We're still working out the podcast. Which way guys, is it? I'm down sorry. or up? I don't know. Go down a little bit and see, and then talk into it. Is this working or no? I'll go the other way. That working? Yeah, that's good. Right okay, there. perfect. Anyways, so um, I get towards like the end of the street, and I accidentally. Well, I didn't really accidentally. I like hit this like arrow thing on the side of it, and um, oh, you did it by accident. You never told me this. Well, it wasn't, like, accident. It was kind of, like, curious and accident. Like, like, I was oh, like, what are these three buttons over here? Yeah, so I hit the top one, and I gave it gas, and I was like, oh, man, because I lifted it on a wheelie. I was like, oh, let's it'll see what else it'll do. in map one. All the, oh, yeah. that whole edit I did was only in map one. Yeah, like, I'm not going to lie. Like, it has a lot of power in one, but, like, map four and map three are absolutely useless. It's just to show you how much power it has, like, saved up. On the in. track, though, it might be. I mean, I want, I'm curious like, to unless see you're going to hit, like, Unless you're gonna hit like crazy shit like Hodges or um or uh, um, Hill and Hill and uh, Butter even for yeah. that matter. If you're gonna hit like crazy stuff and you need it in like a short amount of time, yeah. there's nothing that'll get up to speed like an auto. Like my, my 450, in all honesty, does not hit like that bike. No, that bike just accelerates. Nothing compares to it. No, it accelerates in such if a. If you rate. haven't tried an e-bike, like definitely try it before you knock it. Like I said, I mean everybody. It's, it's either they, people love them or either they hate them. So, I mean, I don't really care what people think. I mean, I've had a blast on mine, and it's worth every penny. And oh, worth, it's awesome. It's worth, like, the hate that you get from it. But I'd, I'd, I'd seriously consider buying an e-bike at this at this mm-hmm. stage of my life. E-bikes are bike. sick. E-bikes are sick. So, anyway, so Definitely, I mean, seeing KTM now with the mini bikes, I'm sure in the next couple of years they'll have their own revamped big bike. But we'll get into that in a little bit. But otherwise, into other regards. So I accidentally, like, Bob pumped it into two, kind of, sort of, not really. Like, I was, like, playing with stuff, like, as I was riding. Because I'm, like, I know there's more than one you mode. can't sit still. you got to fidget with everything. Yeah, much. I'm, like, I know there's more than one mode. Because uh, uh, McKnight was telling me he, like, launched it in map four. So I'm, like, okay, well, there's got to be an easy way to get this. So I hit it and did the wheelie. I'm, like, okay, I'm going to screw with Tyler now. So I'm going to go the other way towards Tyler towards the, the other end of the street, and we'll see how fast I can get it. So I threw it into map four. So I accelerated from second to fourth map. And, man, like that thing ship. is so – it gets up there so quick. And after I flew it's by, like, like, it was Tyler, Mike, and Phil who just ran from Tyler's garage to the end of the driveway because he was like, nah, dude, you can't. I heard it screaming down the road. I had that thing flying. Yeah. So if you slow down in map four and you're maybe doing, like, 10 miles an hour because it's got, like, a little um, it's the speedometer. Region. Oh, I thought you were talking about the drag. No, no, okay. no. It's got a speedometer. So you can, like, kind of judge. That's that's how you can judge. And it's pretty cool how it's all set up. Well, um, it's for the Supermoto. Yeah. It would be means... cool to make it a Supermoto. I want to get some Supermoto wheels. That's just, sketchy. Just for, like, a couple videos. Go to, like, a parking lot and stuff and, like, Supermoto. I think that'd be kind of cool, but... But it doesn't no make No way, sound. like, not people... It's already bad enough with motorcycles on the road and whatnot yeah. for that. So it's cool to get it legally on the road i wouldn't legally put it on the road i would no. just cruise down the road but yeah. 
That's a whole other story. But, uh, anyways, so I go by, and I'm doing 10 on the way back, and Tyler's like, couldn't believe I figured it out. And he's like, how'd you figure it out? I just didn't say nothing. Press so, some buttons and figured it out. And she's like walking up to me. I'm like, yo, I'm going to take full advantage. I'm going to rip this thing a couple more times. I want to see if I get it and top it out. Because at 75, Not it's even still. wet pavement. No, it was dry. Was it? Yeah, it didn't uh, rain that day. It was like a nice day. So yeah, anyways, one day it didn't rain here. So I nail it. Map four, 10 miles an hour, and it just drifts. Yeah. Hardcore I'm sideways. I'm surprised my tires aren't shot. I'm surprised point. I didn't wad it. <laughs> I mean, dude, it hits. And then it would have been like nobody was recording. It was dark. Would have been a waste of a crash, honestly. Yeah, it would have been <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you crash Please's bike, but it would have been like uh, crash the new Alta. Yeah. Broke her in for you, Tyler. I You're would not want that as a title. Just like, just like you know, Blaze's bike, you broke it in for him, brand new 17. It's all right. Her. It's okay. We're over that. <laughs> yeah, we're over it now. We're over it. I bought them all fresh parts. The thing was. <laughs> oh, dude, that was the best. That was the funniest. Yeah. Like, I didn't even want to ask Tyler if he was okay because he seemed to crash so many times and he just. You know, instead of turning the camera off, he just likes to like Shout nudge out to you. Blaze for that one. Yeah, for the loner likes, bike. Just likes to nudge you with it. <laughs> yeah. Just make sure he yeah. he knows he knows that he got it. But so you look whatever. like a chump. But yeah, but anyways, I guess yeah. I mean, we'll talk about briefly. I'll talk like about the maps and whatnot. Yeah. Because I I've had thousands of questions on like the speed and the weight, especially the weight. <laughs> like, it's basically map one is like beginner, mediocre. Doesn't like it'll top out high speeds, but it doesn't have that torque. Map two, people they uh, Alta says it's like a equivalent to a two fifty F, and then map three is kind of in between like a three fifty ish, and then map four is supposedly a four fifty power. Map four but feels like it. We're talking about the MXR, not the MX. I have the MX. The MXR supposedly has a little more torque. I don't know. It's got Timmy like a couple more horsepower than see. you, but it's not like it's not crazy. Super different, but those are the modes. The weight is roughly around the same weight as the four fifty. Maybe a little more. So that's the weight. I'm not gonna lie. The only time you really feel the weight, yeah, you like, don't feel the weight. Like riding. you don't. The only, only putting time it on you, the stand. No, not even that. It's like if you go to like turn around like really slow. Not even because the turning radius it turns like double the amount of a normal bike because there's no radiators, so the bars turn a lot more. No, no, no. I understand that, but when you go turns to like lean, when you go to lean the bike slow and like turn it, you can kind of feel the weight. But then when you get but on, if you're it, going like, fast enough into a corner, you don't feel the weight. No, I'm unless talking you're going, when you're going slow. I'm talking when you're going slow, yeah. you feel the weight. I do but in the sand, that. that sand pit. If you're going slow, you kind of feel it. But other than that, you really don't feel no, it. No, it's it's very 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 aggressive bike. Yeah. Things sick. Yeah, they're cool. E bikes are dope. Yeah, they're fun. Like but, I I could get in so much trouble and get away with so much with like. like everybody needs an e bike. I wish all my friends had e bikes. Like yesterday, me and Mike were riding. He's got the. The drift quad, you know, we wanted to go like explore some stuff, and he's on the he's on the drift quad, you know, he can't go where I want to go, or he won't. He could, but he won't because yeah. And Tyler wouldn't let me do the other part of the video. Yeah, he was, like, so chickened out. It, we got plenty of videos to film with Alta. Yeah, I'm so ready for it. But can't really since next week we're gonna get snow, or this weekend, literally tomorrow or two day, yeah, two days from now we got snow in the forecast. It's gonna be like 25 degrees. Oh, that's perfect. So yeah, I'm not hyped about that. I'm e-bike's gonna have to come in the basement. Why? Why? It's getting a build. Oh, I guess we can talk about that. Oh, we're gonna we're the gonna build? sneak peek the early build. I guess series. we'll sneak peek it. We're gonna sneak. Peek All right, it. I don't know. But I'm calling I'm, it. A, I'm gonna call. It's not a build because it's, it's more not like a build, but it's more like cosmetic stuff. So basically, it's only a build for the YouTube title. It just makes more sense. Like, what else am I gonna call it? A, I don't know. I'm not gonna call, oh, it, a, call a it a makeover. makeover. Yeah, you, no, yeah. But let's that call just it a sounds makeover. stupid. A build sounds better. Like, we'll so, do it like Barbie makeover. Build build sounds better. So basically, I'm not gonna say what I'm doing. Roughly, obviously, uh, AM Designs is gonna hook up. Yeah, AM Designs <laughs> is gonna hook it up with some graphics. We're gonna get some sick custom graphics, um, some holographic stuff, keeping kind of that like the white outlook. I think because I like the way it looks with the white gloves, the white yeah, helmet, looks, blacked looks out cool. everything, blacked yeah, out everything. Yeah, it's e bike. It's stealth. Um, we're gonna do some powder coat, some cerac coat. Some other coatings. I don't think on, the like, coatings the are that good of an idea because you have to like that thing's such a pain to take apart. It's gonna look sick. I've never seen any custom Alta ever, ever. It's gonna look. Some people are saying not to do it. I think it'll come out sweet. If I don't like it, then uh, I'm I'll re powder coat the stuff or I'll get it uh, vapor honed by Josh. I'll have I to... think you should vapor hone. I think that looks way better than anything. <sighs> Personally, like no, no, no. He's gonna fine. vapor hone some of the parts. Yeah. Like I think Josh does a phenomenal job. Like, but the Sarah coat he's, he's is like good. It, it'll just I don't know. It'll just look different than anything. But I think it looks better like shiny though. Like it looks like 
like it's better it'll to be glossy new. yeah i know but it looks newer than new like if you hold because you're yeah, showing me home. some yeah like yeah and all yeah, Josh hands down knows what he's doing yeah that kid that is stuff phenomenal is... at what he does yeah so vapor honing is the way to go if you want to clean parts but um powder coat cerakote like i said get the suspension done probably uh for my weight uh what else i'm not gonna it already has the good warp nine wheels and hubs with the polished hub as a there's no need to really get that. Um, what it's more else like framework. Oh, Raptor Pegs, of course. Yeah, those Pegs. I already emailed them. Those Pegs. They're on trash. board. Um, what else? I don't know what else there really is to do. If you guys have any ideas, post them in the comments. But... I just think the stock, the stocks are not that good. They're like very like what? the stock pegs. Oh, they're not very good. The stock pegs are not good, but um, they kind of the spring kind of pushes through everybody. Yeah, they're not, had they that just, they're not very very like durable if that makes any sense they're, yeah. they're kind of they're not sharp either i could sharpen them but i don't know we'll see we'll see what but, else um, i mean there's that's really it sprockets new sprock but that's not really a bill i mean i'll put new sprockets on it chain um grips yeah but oh bars i'm gonna do some flex bars and then like, cut out nah, the middle i like the bars that are on there like they're very comfortable they're like I'm not, no i'm not saying they're not comfortable but the you know what flex bars are it has the bushings in it, so they flex a little bit more. Like, For hence, what? called flex bars. But you're not going to jump it or anything, so what's the Yeah, point? I do. I jump it all the time. Oh, my God, dude. You're not even going to race it, so let's be serious. No, here. I don't race. Come on. Okay, yeah, no. <laughs> don't play we're yourself. Tyler. We're, Turn a little bit so they can... We're, we're Tyler Monaghan. We're a little too sophisticated for racing now. No, we're, I don't really... Good. I don't... Yeah, racing, I mean, it's... Less ride time for more money. I, you only go out three times, four it's, times... And I don't even, I'd rather just go on practice days and just have fun and ride the sections I want to ride and film videos. You can't really film anything on race day. In all honesty, I'd rather You can, just, but it's too it's just, hard yeah, doing it myself. It's a pain. You need literally like four people. I need like a full-time filmer. Yeah. like. But you, that's it's hard to get somebody like, it's a full day, like 7 a.m. to 8, 9 p.m. Like, I, it's just, it's I'd rather just go to, I'd rather just ride on Saturday, practice days, and then ride a private track Sunday. Or go to the track and hang out. Like, I'd film. scrap all that. I'd rather just go do, like, urban and woods. All honesty. Yeah, that's what the Alta is more possibility. Yeah, but, what like, I, do. Like I'd Honestly, do I cannot wait for when I have my own compound one day. I can have my own big track. I can have a Supercross-style track. I can have a pit bike track. I can have the BMX jumps, the mountain bike jumps. Yeah, but you I know what's going to be the, even better than the that, The big Tyler? rope swing into the huge pond that I got to dig but out. Tyler, you know what's going to be like even that. better than that? What? I'm going to just show up and unload like how you do to Bankus all the time. Yeah? I'm just going to show I'm gonna up. I'm going to have a huge gate on my whole property. You won't Tyler. even be able to get in, dude. You'll Tyler, have to I have a, a passcode. Yeah, it's going to just you be won't my be able front to... end driving through your you gate. You won't be able to get in. It's going to happen. It's going to be all gated. It's going to be all secure. It's going to be weight. You won't even see it. Oh, I'll see it. I'm telling you. I'll see it. So, but yeah, we got off topic. E-bikes. Yeah. Anyways, are, the yeah, e-bikes, e-bikes are sick. Literally the, the best. They're not replacing the gas bikes. I know everybody gets all but her. I'm not selling my gas bikes. No, like um, the, the, the e-bikes I mean, are I'm more I'm going of a toy. to sell my 250 because it's it's getting up there on the hours, but. You, what? 15, 20? We might experiment with the 450 next year. We'll see. Dude, your noodle arms are not <laughs> handling the 450. We'll see. You what don't happens. weigh enough. You weigh nothing. Tyler, you're like 120 Dude, pounds. It doesn't matter. <laughs> no, I want to. Ideally, I want to have a the 250, a 450, a 125, and uh. I want to have. I want to have the 125. I want to have oh the 250 two stroke the 110 identical to my 125. Uh, I'm not hinting any builds coming soon on that. Hint, hint. Uh, KX 250 <laughs> build. Um, uh, Suzuki's way better. I want to do. <clears throat> um, hopefully, I guess I'll no. This will be another podcast. No, screw it. I want to do a CR125 build next month, December. Yeah, but you're just giving away, like, the hidden gem you wanted to do. Like, you, I don't can, you can't. Not a lot of people watch the podcast. This okay, is, this is true. This yeah, is, you know, uh, we'll, we'll give some we'll give hidden people information. People that are listening to the podcast. Yeah, we'll give hidden information. Um, and uh, that'll be all December. Hopefully, I can finish that in December. Um, I feel like the Honda's going to take you a little bit longer because it's, like, a little bit I'm going to bust different. it out. You're going to bust, bust it out. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. I'm talking, like, okay. yeah, it's going to be the main priority. Okay. Um, Because the main priority has been, like, the pit bike giveaway and like getting sticker order shipped. If you guys haven't gotten your sticker order, they are coming. You're entered to win. Um, oh, all just, of them. It's very over. I have a lot of sticker orders to get through. But by, by so the way, you will get them within the next like week or so. By the time I custom make them all and whatnot. Every but, single one has gone through Tyler's fingers because I've seen the sticker process tonight. I tried like doing. Yeah, they know that, if they. What's know, that thing called that I was doing? Reading the stickers. It sucks. Absolutely yeah. sucks. There's yeah, got to so. be a faster way. But uh, yeah, that's know. the deal with that. Um. 
I guess we'll move into. I think that's it, right? No, we're gonna talk about the uh, KTM and uh, yeah, Husqvarna. We're, yeah, we're gonna talk about that. No, I guess I'm I'll not... briefly talk about the Alta, like cap it off. I didn't even plan on buying an Alta. Had no intentions of buying an Alta. Like it was just right time, right place, right. Yeah, pretty much. Like they had that demo bike, and I couldn't pass up the opportunity, especially seeing that Alta was like kind of limiting production or until they get an investor and whatnot you've heard me say it over and over but which sucks i mean i think i felt this is like my time to get one if i'm ever going to experience the whole e-bike realm of being able to make videos with it cruise around get that urban stuff that i've always like dreamed of doing being able to ride places and seeing especially josh ellen buttery and other people they kill it use altas and ride but uh I feel like they have a better setup with the urban stuff. We don't really have much of that. No, like they have like the. I hate saying they urban. The, it's so, but the streets. They have literally like the best setup. Like in Cali, like they have that that sewer. Not really the sewer, but like that. You know what I'm talking about? The, Where the uh, river flows. What's it called? The L.A. River. Yeah, they have that yeah. set up. And then they have, like, the huge San Francisco Hills, like, where we yeah, are. Yeah, got some pretty cool stuff. Where we are now. I mean, there's I'm sure one. we've got some spots. I, I know where we could jump. I got at. a lot of spots we could check out still. So. I know where you jump. Just at. the weather yeah, here it's, right it's now. Yeah, the weather. Like, yeah, really. If it was sunny and 70 every day right now, I'd be out every day filming Alta Urban. Yeah, the Tyler videos. would be riding every day. And he doesn't get sick of riding. This, yeah. That's his job. Yeah, I'll ride. Yeah, I ride all the time. All or day, the, day. As much as I can because, I mean, you gotta you got to find a balance, you know? Yeah, every you gotta day. Gotta find a balance. Yeah, not every day, no. Like fifteen minute intervals. <laughs> no, sometimes we'll just rip on the pitter, you know, yeah, for, for about for like minutes. ten, fifteen minutes. Like, yeah. all right, go back inside, do, st- and then come back. And out. then, yeah, you gotta, you gotta have a balance, you know. <laughs> gotta have a balance. Yeah, because in other, in other ways, but, um, would just why. Basically, <laughs> you gotta practice wheelies. And you're not gonna get better unless you practice. So yeah, that's true. But in yeah, regards, so, didn't so, have a plan. Let's and let's, just, let's talk about these two pitters. Not really right, pitters, yeah, but more or less race bikes this in whole in, list in here um if you guys watched the video of me talking about this you'd already know so i'll kind of skip over the majority of this i wrote down all the specs on the alta so i can compare specs like to this thing okay to the alta so basically um they say it's got a five kilowatt performance uh capacity battery what i don't really know kilowatt i'm not really educated but so that little 65 or 50 cc i'm gonna call it pit bike because that's how it's gonna be referred to us if we get one yeah there's um, five kilowatt battery the Alta has a 5.8 kilowatt capacity, so I don't know how much 0.8 really is in the terms of capacity. I mean, levels. a full kill. I mean, that's maybe like an hour less. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know. So it's still got. It's, take it's got it for power. take it for whatever the numbers are. Um, that one has six ride modes. I don't know how it's really going to perform. Six. Obviously, the Not Alta four, has four. Six. Yeah, it has six riding Holy modes. Holy crap! Okay. Um, it has a 907 watt hour lipo battery. Uh, the Alta has a 350 volt lipo battery. I don't know. Did you say 900 on the little bike? 907 WH Willa. What is that? WH? Yeah. WH LiPo battery. And then the Alta goes by volts. So 350 volt LiPo battery. It's okay. probably the same thing. I don't. I'm it's not probably a close comparison. To, so, so, yeah. Um, and then some specs. The, the Alta has 50 horsepower. Charge time is um we're talking about the alta right now charge time is one and a half hours on 240 and then three hours on 120 um 240 is the quick charger and then standard 120 is the normal charger but i'd swap mine to 120 because it's easier i don't have a 220 plug yet yeah or 240 plug yet he will soon and then life on that is a thousand hours and some they just say a thousand hours on the alta um before you might might see some degrading of the battery life yeah, it's very minimal. Don't so say it's like I'm 2, saying you get like two, three thousand hours, maybe. The way maybe you two thousand. The way you are, maybe like 2, maybe 000. two, maybe fifteen hundred, two thousand. Yeah. But that's a lot of hours. Yeah, that's, that's like that's years. years. Yeah, that's by that time you can already like have, have saved like up six. enough money for another e-bike. Yeah, if you can get five, six ish years out of it, I don't know. By that time, it's going to be so outdated. Like think about in what two years time, how it's much better year. technology has gotten. Every like year. think about like two a two year old iPhone is like obsolete yeah and you have the 10 i have just the x it's the the, you have the x i have the eight yeah like it's so it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy what what's going on but um yeah so this is these things are called if you guys have not seen them if you didn't see the video go check out my video where i talk about um the ktm and the husqvarna it'll be linked down below or you can just search on the channel it's called the ktm um sx e5 and then the husky is uh i don't know what the husky is called but they're both pretty much identical. I personally, you saw the bikes, right? I personally like the 
the husky more. I, I think, think husky, it, the I think white. The, I think the white stealth is the best. husky looks better. The plastic. I don't. It's just like I'm not being biased to Alta being white, but I just think the white looks better than the orange. Just, yeah. just personally, I think yeah. this white is more yeah. stealth. So I would probably try and get the, the white husky. one. I'm hoping if all goes to plan. Well, nothing's ever planned. What am I talking about? You never if some dealership it. even just lets me borrow it for like a couple of weeks and make videos on it and then I'll give it back, I'd be more than happy to do that. Yeah, just test and it. And promote the, the dealership and whatnot. If there's any dealerships out there, hit me up. I will uh, help do some promotion. Now, now what's... Like above and beyond promote your dealership. Now, what's the uh, the power of the little bike has, the pitter? I don't know. All I know is 5 kilowatt performance. And it doesn't give an MSRP, nothing. I heard 5500 and then... Holy crap. You can buy, like, almost a brand new bike for $5,500. Yeah, this is a brand new bike. No, I mean, like, we're talking big boy bike. Yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, so I heard 5500 I heard ten k but ten k doesn't... No way. There's no way. Um, But, yeah, I heard 5500 and then uh, $500 for uh, the quick charger. So I'm assuming it comes with a normal charger. Or, like the Alta, you can spend 500 for the... The, the quick faster charger, charge, charge, so. Whatever. But then they said this thing only takes, um, I think it's, it doesn't take that long to charge. That thing's got to hit like 50 miles an hour. Oh, they said an hour. Wow, that's An hour thing. fully drained. I don't know if that's with the quick charger. I'm going to assume the quick charger. But either, an hour. hour isn't that bad. The, an hour is really quick. But I'm, I'm assuming with the quick charger, it'd be in, cut in half. 30 minutes from dead. Well, and they say it is two the hours charge. ish runtime for a beginner nov kid, a normal kid riding the bike. And That's if you have bad. like a Spencer or some kid that knows how to ride a super mini, yeah, you'll get like thirty five minutes, yeah, which is a moto and some I think. And then you just like throw it back in the two. charger and it's ready to go for the next race. So honestly, I think they're pretty sick, you know. Yeah, I mean that's that's about like, all we got. I don't yeah. know if you had, if anybody has kids and like lives in a place where the neighbors get pissed it's perfect because yeah you can't you can literally build them a little sick little backyard track have them ride all day well, not all day as much as Couple the battery hours. lasts before you gotta recharge it but you that's can let the them... only downfall of the e-bike is the battery like if yeah. they can extend I mean, you, the life i guess you just better. buy them too i don't know buy them too yeah we got we got tons of money here i'm just i'm money. just saying We're i'm just saying loaded right so, with i'm saying but if they're replacing is. their Gas, gas bikes, bikes. they're going to have enough but money to buy two bikes. But I don't think they're going to replace a gas bike entirely. Like, I, okay. But think about this. When you go to the track and you see 90, I'm not, a, I'm not saying everyone, but Almost the 100%. main kids that are like really in the sport, they have more than one bike, right? Yeah, they have a couple of bikes. Like one's a practice. Like Morningstar. Okay, there you go. I mean, holy crap with Morningstar. He's got yeah, two 250 got Fs. <laughs> He's got the 120 turn, he never you, rides. Turn, you're getting never, it. ever. The kid never rides the 120. Like, I've seen the 120 <laughs> once. Okay? 125 is sick. I've, yeah, it's sick. It's like Bailey's 250. Like, it's like the same year as Bailey's 250. It's yeah. sick and all. No, it's but, a 2001, right? Yeah, yeah, 2001. I thought it was a 99. No, it's 2001. Okay, but anyways, regardless, regardless. The kid never rides it. And then he comes to the track, right, with this awesome setup. His dad always has the bikes propped and cleaned and everything else. Like, the bikes are always immaculate. Yeah, he's got the setup, dude. It's sick. Yeah, and then his his practice bike, it's like, what, 30 hours and then it's sold? Like, he yeah, sells there's, them. there's no point in rebuilding them. No, and he gets just two new ones a year. Yeah, he just trades them. They're never the same once you rebuild them. They're especially never the after, same. Especially after he has never. Like, he's so fast. That's why I don't want to tear my bike apart, like, put a top end in it. I, I might put a top. I don't know. My bike only has 40 hours. It's still fresh. Like, I can sell it, yeah, and like somebody 10. will get a good life out of that thing. I mean, it depends on, like, what you're going to do. If you're going to race it, literally, I hate – okay, this is why I've always hated 250s. But, you literally have to beat the snot out of them for, for getting the power over a jump or something. No, you like, don't. You have to make it I like sing. revving it out, as yeah, people see, know. I like see, revving yeah. my bike. <laughs> this is why I don't like it. I'm not saying I wouldn't rev out a 450 just for no reason. You don't reason. have to. You just let it go. It just does the work. That's it's like so easy. It's the lazy gonna... man's bike. I like it. I, I would still, you would still probably hear a little rev moment. I, I don't, it's just the hat. It's, I'm such a bad habit along with slipping the clutch. It's just a bad habit. Yeah, Tyler goes through clutches pretty quick too. I haven't replaced the clutch. Not yet because you've been riding the e-bike for a little bit. No, I've gotten 40 hours out of my stock clutch on my 250. Yeah, but A lot long... of people say the Kawi clutches suck. I've gotten decent life out of it, I'd say, for a normal person. I don't know, but that's just my experience with Kawi clutches. Yeah, but well. hey. I think the Alta is I mean, I change my oil. Yeah. I do air filters. But the Alta is better. I just run it. I think the Alta is a little bit better. Yeah. You, I mean, Less maintenance. e-bike, no maintenance. I mean, there still is coolant, and you still got to check the oil, but never For the e-bike? really. Yeah, it has coolant and Really? Oil. I didn't know. Yeah. I, was, I knew I had the oil. I didn't know When I had you coolant. hear that, when you turn it on, that's the, the fuel pump. Not fuel pump. The, the coolant pump? The, yeah. 
Okay, no shit. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. That's the deal with that. But I don't know. Should we cap this first one off? This is pretty much all e-bikes, right? Yeah, I mean, this is really it. Like, you just just go out if you know someone that has one, try and ride it. Give yeah, them a shot. Test I their think e-bike they're fun. out. Everyone talks crap about them, and I'm like, I thought they were cool. I've always wanted to ride Tim's. I never had the chance to ride Timmy's. Yeah, I didn't and, either before. Because it was like hard to schedule like to hang out with Timmy because he goes to college. But anyways, if you ever get the opportunity, I say 100% take it. It's it's a whole different animal. Yep. And it's I think it's more fun. Like if, if you had like a big It's more fun group. in its ways. It's not more fun. I don't think it would be more fun than like having my 250 at the track and then riding that. Because no, then no, I would like, always like, be It's more cautious. of a toy, though. It's more of a toy. Yeah, I would. I feel like yeah, I'm it's, not racing it's, it. I feel like it's more fun. Like if you guys like want to go like trail riding, 100 yeah, percent hands down. Take it because you can go on like so many trails you wouldn't mm-hmm. want to try because your bike's yeah. loud. These are quiet. You get away with a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. you could literally. It's hear a the different steers. experience. You yeah. hear the the trees branches breaking underneath you. It's just a whole different riding. Experience. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But it's like. I don't think I'd it, it wouldn't be the same experience at the track. Like I would always be stressing that the battery is like getting low, but then I'd have a generator, so it would be fine. But I don't. It's just a mental thing. Like even now like riding, like it. I just think about the battery dying, and I have more than enough battery to last me like all the time I wanted to ride for the day. But it's just kind of a mental thing for me. I know other people it might not be the same, but at least for me, that's kind of the case. I think you guys should give it a shot. But so. I've never ran it below half. Like no. all the three weeks I've had it. Like I rode yesterday with Mike. All that the street riding the the meadows and stuff we rode it for at least two hours or so about yeah about two hours and i wasn't even at half battery so no crap yeah. i ran it to about half like i could go minutes. ride it again i haven't charged you yet and like, I, I i wrote it right because i don't half in five minutes. just like put it in map four and just be map four it. literally I, I, like, just conserve the power and use it when it's needed but yeah yeah i saw oh, the in today's video i guess i'll talk about it briefly when i was riding the e-bike in the dam i didn't notice it editing but some somebody spray painted on the dam. I saw it. Somebody commented the time frame. Um, somebody spray painted on the dam like subscribe to Tyler Monaghan's channel. No blah, way. Blah, blah, something like that. I couldn't no see way. it up. Yeah, you're it's spray liar. paint. No I way. swear, we gotta go oh, check yeah. it out. Well, you're gonna have to. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. But yeah, we'll I thought that was pretty crazy. It blew my mind. <laughs> I'm like, what? Is this kid joking? But yeah, it was legit. So it's badass. Shout out to uh, shout out to it. whoever. I I think as the kids that live over there. Yeah, pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So shout out to those kids if you did it. If not, shout out to uh, whoever did it. But yeah, I guess we'll uh, cap off this first podcast. I don't know how long it is. At least uh, looks like my camera stopped recording, so it's probably a black screen right now. But if you guys are staying through the black screen, shout out to you. We're gonna cap this podcast off and move on to the next one. If you guys are new, definitely hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more podcasts, definitely let me know down in the comments. Uh, If you want to check me out on Instagram, give me a follow at Tyler Monaghan, and then uh, I'll let Anthony plug all his stuff all right guys so give me a follow at um obviously my it'll name. be linked below yeah, it's linked in the in below i'll give a shout out to uh, bailey bankus and josh mills i always do good friends of mine um yeah so stay tuned what for the next podcast oh check out your YouTube? yeah yeah okay so it'll I be like, linked below yeah it'll be linked everything will be linked so just click on yeah, it yeah i'll check the crap. description it'll, i'll take care of it we'll uh we'll check you guys in the next podcast peace later